What started me off with wanting to build guitars was basically my dissatisfaction with factory-made guitars. I found that they were limiting in the sounds that you could get out of them. Someone told me about Roberto Venn, School of Luthery, and when I walked in, I saw people my age making these guitars, and I was, I was just floored, and I, I said to myself, I have to do this. If they can do it, I can do it. Like with architecture, a building is a building, a structure is a structure, and with guitars, a guitar is a guitar. I basically make guitars that I want to play, and then hopefully somebody else wants to play them too. One luthier's instincts are going to be a little bit different than, than another's. And that's the one thing about tar making and luthery is that there's more than one way to build an instrument. And that all has to do with feel and your hearing and a lot of it sometimes is I'll pick up a piece of wood and I'll just tap on it. Basically you, you want to know what woods are going to have more tone than other woods and for instance maple is going to have a nice long sustain but it's going to have uh, a lot of treble in there whereas uh, mahogany is not going to have as much sustain it's going to be warm. That, those are all going to give you different sounds and the thing to do is just to build and try out all those combinations and find out which one, which combination has the best response overall. I do try to give each guitar its own personality. Uh, no two guitars are the same. You know, I might see an image, I might just be doodling, you know, wow, that's a great shape, I need to use that as an inlay on the guitar. I might see a guitar shape that is manufactured at a, at a factory and I said I can improve upon that. You know, it, it's just by experimenting and trying new things with, with every guitar. And yeah, one of my favorite parts of, uh, of making guitars when I have a perfectly set, as far as humanly possible, you know, down to the 64th, you know, once that lines up and, you know, you have no gaps on that, on that joint, then you know, you know that that guitar is going to be a success. I mean, develop this concept in your brain and you've executed on the paper and now it becomes a physical, actual, almost like a living thing. And uh, when you pull it off, it's like, you know, you're that much further along, I guess, in your life's journey, if you will. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great feeling of satisfaction and accomplishment with each, with, not only with each guitar, but each individual task. You know, I put the binding on perfect. I cut that fret slot perfect, you know, especially when you pull something off for the first time that you, you weren't sure whether you know, it was going to work or how it was going to sound and then it sounds beautiful and then you're like, ah, oh, you know, and, have it, and then, then it's even better when everybody else goes, ah, yes, you know. It's a journey of self-awareness, um, it's, it's a cosmic journey, it's, it's like zen. Well, I can describe it in a thousand words, you have to go through it yourself in order to know what it's really like.